Ancient Egyptian card arch is a special glyph that gave information on birth dates of people with high statuses. They were made of oval shape and formed as a plaque structure. The card arch is in ancient Egypt had special indications to suggest the significance of the person in the kingdom. Traditionally, pharaohs in ancient Egypt had many names. One pharaoh would have up to five names. Usually, when a member of a high family or royal family was born, a name was bestowed on that person. The other four names would be designated once the pharaohs started service to the people. As per ancient Egyptian customs, assigning names was designed to transform the pharaoh from a mere mortal to someone who has divine powers. However, for every pharaoh, the name given at birth held the most significance. This was the name that would be etched on an ancient Egypt Kardash plaque for a pharaoh. Kardashes were unknown in ancient Egypt and their concept was established only during the 4th dynasty. King Snurfu was instrumental in bringing about the significance of the ancient Egypt Kardash in everyday life. The word Kardash was not the original assignment given to the symbolic representation. This word was actually bestowed upon this symbolic representation by the Napoleon Brigade. Before the Egyptians invented the Kardash system to record birth dates, the Suric system was used. Archaeologists have been able to uncover quite many of these hieroglyphs. The Suric of Horus was the most important discovery made. Horus was regarded as God incarnate, and the Egyptians revere this person as all-powerful and all-pervasive. The Egyptians attached a lot of importance to Kardashes. They even regarded it as a way of bringing good luck and fortune. Ancient Egyptian manuscripts indicate that the Kardash was placed at certain locations in the house to ward away evil and augur positive energy. Even though superstition ruled the lives of ancient Egyptians, it was aesthetic and culturally vibrant. It was due to the Kardashes that archaeologists have been able to find tombs of kings. Later, mummies were discovered intact in these tombs. All this was because Kardashes were beacons of a protective force protecting a precious thing. The discovery of Kardashes from ancient Egypt led researchers to discover other things. Since Kardashes were believed to protect the area in which they were located, researchers prodded further deep into these sites to eventually discover mummies and majestic tombs. Without ancient Egypt Kardash items, it would have taken longer to find these runes.